Okay, you guys on the Energetic Forum and YouTube. I got my battery terminals all the same size on the charge battery. See it? That's where the radiant comes from, right there. Great big uh, 40, 50 amp wire right here coming off the little scooter motor. Because, you know, uh, they have big wires anyways coming off scooters. This one's a little bigger. And it goes up here because the radiant travels on the outside. And here we have straps. Now these straps that you see bent in uh, arc form, arc shape, just a little uh, camera shot for you. They're not perfectly symmetrically bent yet, but they're um, insulated with black and this is cellophane. This is cellophane on here so that they go all the way to the tie point and they're insulated if they're not bumping each other and they go to the very end and tie right here and all my clippies right now I'm gonna change that too maybe but, but this one is not clippy this uh, this big wire coming off the motor the discharge and um, it's tied in with a nut and a bolt all to the strips and the and the radiant travels on the surface of these straps so I made sure that each one was the same size length now over here I got conventional and to change all those over here there's two packs I'm gonna have to work more on that and uh, but I did get the radiant side fixed I still want to bring my tie points even to the batteries so that when I start really loading this better I'll have a more even <coughs> excuse me you see this battery was the first battery and I had everything tied to the first battery and this one was more charged up by a couple of points than the other batteries and I'm only running a one amp load as you can see I had to drop down to more like uh, amp and uh, 1.5 amp instead of 1.6 because it worked out better because I kept getting too high on my booster adjusting my booster in there to try to, to even it out with the inverter test so I lowered it down and the inverter runs at 14.2 and this one runs at like where you're seeing it without adjusting the dial so this motor pushes it up higher yet it pushes it up a couple of volts you know when you when you take the inverter off and use this and the differential is floating all over the place but I wanted you to see I wanted you to see my uh, my new charge battery my radiant charging terminal they're all the same length and that's what's uh, needed for charging radiantly from this modified motor which puts out a transient spike and other forms of energy that we're not used to so um, but the main thing is is that it's making the batteries good keeping the batteries going and you can see these batteries are full and this battery is going down right here <coughs> and will until I get something on this shaft now what I want to put is a Tesla coil uh, generator head something like Thane Hines but it's um, it's pretty much acceleration under load so if I if I grab this right here see that see that battery uh, kind of go down because watch the amp draw on this see it go right up amp draw goes right up see it there see the amp draw go right up I grab that shaft and boy that thing is hard to stop it go right up to two and a half there go right up to ten there if I hold it but I'm breaking my hand to hold it so uh, I can't hold it I can't hold it back you know this is a DC motor that's one bad boy so anyway that's not like an induction motor you know where you can just grab the shaft and it 
So anyways, I just wanted to show you my radiantly charging terminal and how the, each strap gives uh, more surface area for the radiant to travel and they're all the same. So each battery is treated radiantly is treated equally, not just the front battery. Okay, and I want you to know that I've got notes here, a lot of notes. Let me show you, give you an idea of what the notes are looking like. Okay, that's some notes. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a mess of notes lately. Uh, here's some notes right here. These are notes. That's a note. There's some notes right there. I'm trying to keep a journal pretty much uh, looking over it there's lots of pages that, and what I found out through all of these uh, tests was that each time I run the inverter I takes twice as many points off the battery as when I'm using the modified motor and that's only significant if you can get now that I have this scheme setup where the batteries can be recirculating energy and the modified motor is running and and giving us an, an, a mechanical advantage to some degree giving us a lot of power as long as we don't drag this shaft down and we accelerate under load coils the Tesla coils then we can go to uh, meaningful COPs where we can run lights or whatever. Uh, you can run a few things out in your garden. Maybe you can pump some water with it. Who knows? And you won't need a solar panel either. Okay, I'm back for a second. It looks like it's charging up, so I'm making a recording of this just in case, unless this thing is fooling me. With the straps on it, it's going up. I don't know if it is. It shouldn't be going up. It's supposed to be dropping down. It's been sitting here for a long time on 19 and now it went to 20. I don't know if that's real or what that is. So i just throwing that in there. We'll see. Okay, I came back to show you the meter. It's been 15-20 minutes and I've decided that it, and it just flashed 20 again, I've decided that the straps are helping somehow. And um, the uh, system does not decline so rapidly. I mean, it's better than the inverter by 2 to 1. But my goodness, this 19, this point 19, uh, 12.19, that's been there for 15, 20 minutes and it bounces up to 20 every now and then. So I suspect it's on the top side of almost 20. And I just thought I'd jump in there and tell you that I believe the radiant straps or the equal straps so that this uh, motor may fire into not just number one battery, but all four of them equally. That seems to have a huge impact on it because it's been a while and this is only one point and it hasn't gone down. I started at 12.20 uh, about 30 minutes ago, I think it was, or more, and there it goes. Now we're going down a little bit, but is it? really 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 slow guys so this is very conservative motor this is so awesome one point took forever to move and that point is not done yet that 12.19 and look at all the power we're using we're using that uh, we're using um, all that power right there and our boosters are not that efficient you know they're only 90 percent maybe so I wanted to jump in and show you that it's running and running and running and it just wants to hang there forever on one point so I'm gonna let it run now for hours 
and see just um this is the first time in a while that I'm going to exceed an hour I think I may let it run three hours I'm gonna try to get it to to go down uh, to go down ten points okay I'll be back and you know me I'm I'm still at it so this is the fun part for a year or so I shook my head and Turion said, yup, and I said, yup, 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 I believe you. I picked Turion. He's a, he's a winning horse. And uh, so now it's time to verify it. And so that wouldn't be right to just walk away without verifying it. All right? That's what I'm doing. Okay, I came back again to show you the meter. This is the differential. <coughs> Not only is the booster voltage varying all over from time to time, which is um, which is on the differential. So, but this is a very low quality meter, and this one is is not that much. But did you see it go negative there? It goes negative. It goes off the scale. It's on a tw zero to twenty volt scale. The computer will just register zero, like it's going up the scale past twenty volts. It'll rec there goes negative. You see that? This thing fluctuates all over the place, regularly to fifteen volts, to five, to minus something. It's ridiculous. Now I never saw that before. See it go blank? That's because. Uh, it was more than uh, that was more than um, than the 20 volt scale is why so it appears that either this meter battery is getting low or I have a loose connection somewhere or what since I put those straps on there I'm reading a lot of difference there's a big change in the way the fluctuations are. 15 volts, see that? 13 minus figure. It's crazy, okay? So let me check my meter connections, all right? I'm still scratching my head. See it there? Maybe my battery's going dead, I don't know.